Hello and welcome everyone to my channel. I offer guided digital art tutorials on Procreate. This is your time to relax and unwind, so grab a beverage and let's dive in. New videos are put out every Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you like the channel, please like and subscribe. Step number one, we're going to be creating a new canvas 20 inch width by 16 inch in height. Step number two, we're going to be downloading the template and the color palette from the description box below. And step number three, we're going to be working on the background. Using the bottom two colors on the color palette, I drag and drop the green color into the background and then use the silver white color as a highlight towards the bottom of the frame. Step number four, we're going to be working on the leaf, just the base color of the leaf. This is where I insert the template as its own layer, and then we're going to create a layer on top of the template. So we, this should be layer number three. I use the first color top row on the color palette, and I fill in some of the darker colors of the leaf. Don't worry about going um, or avoiding the frog's fingers. You can go right over top of them. We're going to stick to the left hand side being the darker side and then the right hand side where the light would be hitting. And this is where I'm using the second color in the ca uh, color palette. I'm just roughly scribbling everything in. We're going to be using the smudge tool and adding finer detail after. Here I grabbed that white color on the palette and I just added a few more highlights. And then a dark green color. That would be the third color on the color palette. And I just hit a few spots and then I add some shadowing underneath where the frog's um, fingers are. And this is where I take that smudge tool and I kind of feather everything in. Just so nothing is too obnoxious or doesn't stand out too much. And then I remove the template here, and then you can kind of see the base outline of what we're working with. I went back in and I added more highlights to the background. So this is layer number one. I just wanted it a little bit lighter. Okay, so I added the template back in, or I made it visible, and we're going to be working on the frog base color for step number five. A new layer we're going to be adding, so on top of everything, this should be layer number five. And I grab the bright orange color on the top row middle. And we're going to be filling in all of his little fingers and his eyes. A little bit underneath that arm there at the top. And then I grab a darker red color that was to the left of the bright orange. And I just hit a few spots where there would be shadowing. So on the underside of the frog's fingers. I grabbed that white color that we used earlier and I'm just dabbing in a few highlights. Okay, I took a black color from the color palette and we're just adding some shadowing and giving this frog some pupils. <laughs> At any point, you can pause the video 
Um, I'm going a little bit fast just to save time on the video itself. Otherwise, it would be close to an hour long. I grab a beige color from the color or that white color that's in the middle row. And I'm just filling in the underside of his belly. Then I grab a bright blue. So it's on the top row towards the right hand side, second from the last. And I fill in a few points. And then the last color on the top row, I'm adding some of the darker blue points to his legs and his arms. Here's a dark blue color I grabbed from the middle row towards the middle and added a few more spots. With the black, I just went in and added a little bit more shadowing. Okay, so I grabbed the second green color on the top row and I'm just filling in the rest of the frog here. Then I take the darker green color and I'm just adding a few shadow points and detailing to his face. I'm kind of using like a blotching motion. So instead of firm lines, it's more like taps or dots. This is to add texture to the frog. And then I add a little bit more shadowing to his belly. There's a golden brown color I grabbed from the middle row on the right hand side and I just warm up <laughs> with the coloring his tummy a little bit. All right, so I'm going to hide the template layer so that we can see what we're working with here. Step number six, we're going to do the details and kind of like the touch ups. Basically, I always start with I add the base colors, go in with the smudge tool, and then I add my final detailing on top of that. So I'm kind of just smudging all the colors together. You don't want to see any one line too much. So I go to the leaf section or the leaf layer and I do the same thing. I just do a little bit more smudging and then we're going to be adding a little bit more shadowing as well. I just wanted to hit underneath the hands or the fingers of the frog a little bit more. And then add a few more darker points along that left hand side. We're going to take that black color and make our brush very, very small, very fine. And I just add a few points around the eyes and around the body just to accentuate a few of those points. This really makes things pop. Again, you don't want any lines to be too obvious, so I do end up hitting it with a little bit of a smudge tool afterwards. And I'm just adding some creases to the arm and to the toes. And this is where I take that smudge tool and I kind of loosen up those lines a little bit.
My favorite part is I grab the white. This makes everything pop more. <laughs> and I add a few spots, few highlights around the eye, the face. I add a little dots. Um, it kind of just adds that texture and that shine to the frog's skin. You want the dots to be very subtle, so go quick and small and very light. Step number seven is we're going to do some final touches. I just went in with that black a little bit more and just did a couple more shadow points underneath the frog's chin. Anywhere where the least amount of light would be hitting, so close to the leaf area, underneath the toes, which we're going to be hitting right away too. You can add that shadowing or that black color. And then smudge out anything that looks a little too obvious or stands out too much. Here I went back to the leaf layer and I added a little bit more shadowing underneath the toes of the frog. And this is kind of the last thing I did. So if you guys enjoyed the video, again, please like and subscribe. If you have any advice for me on how I can better my videos, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks! <laughs>